I think that this show is about hunger for intimacy and hunger for touch and hunger for connection, which are things that we are all hungry for right now. We are all completely isolated with our pods of people, whether they be family or roommate or spouse. And I know we all want to be together. And we all want intimate contact with other human beings, whatever form that intimacy may take. And this show is specific to a desire for intimacy as a disabled person. And that desire for intimacy as a disabled person far predates the pandemic. And so I wonder if non-disabled audiences will be able to resonate with and connect to the story in ways that they haven't been able to be in the past because of this moment that we're in and recognizing how what they are experiencing in this moment is not so rare for disabled folks and how can they help us not be so isolated and so uh disconnected when all of this is over and we are able to socialize again. Hi, my name is Ryan J. Haddad, and I'm so thrilled to be here today to talk with you about my play, Hi, Are You Single? Hi, Are You Single is a story about sexuality, disability, and being horny all the time. I am a a 20-something, late 20s now, horny gay man who wants sex and intimacy, but mostly wants love. And I had to write it because I didn't know why I was having such bad luck with men. And what was this about? And did it have to do with my disability? Wasn't it? Was it about the disability? Was it just about my personality? What was it? And so I set out on this kind of exploration. And I feel I had to write it because I didn't see any depictions in the media, on stage, film, TV, that showed authentic, real, disabled people or disabled actors playing disabled characters having sex or being in a love affair or being in a marriage or being romantic with anyone in any form. And when you're in your teens and 20s, all you want, I mean, especially adolescents and teens and late, late teens, you're just trying to fit in. You're trying to belong and you're trying to find a person or several people who you want to be uh, connected to and romantic with and intimate with. And that wasn't happening for me. And I didn't know why, but I did attribute it to the media and their heinous lack of representation of disabled sexuality. Because I don't think that the population at large, the non-disabled population sees disability as sexy because no one has ever shown them that before. No one has ever shown them that that is possible. All that we see are these highly attractive, highly photoshopped, you know, Uh, airbrushed model-like figures or celebrities who are the upper epitome of gorgeousness. And that isn't to say that disabled people aren't sexy, hot, and gorgeous. We are. But if the media is not showing us as that, then the average person is not going to have the presence of mind to say, oh, wow, I think that person is really hot because their minds have not been conditioned to see us in that light. So I think the more stories we can tell, the more we're giving the country and the world permission to see us as sexy and desirable and worthy of romance. Hi, Are You Single is about me, a solo play about me at a younger age. So I'm playing a version of myself, a younger version of myself in my quest for sexuality 
and romance and intimacy. It begins with me on FaceTime with a stranger with my shorts and my ankles. You can see my leg braces. You can see my underwear. You can see my torso. And I am trying to get some pleasure through my phone with this stranger who is presumably uh, disrobed on the other end of the line, on the other end of the video chat. And that doesn't go so well. And I have a hunch that it might be because of my disability. And why is that? So it sets us forward on an exploration into and out of gay bars uh, as a 21 year old and navigating the way people are reacting to me in those spaces, in those gay male spaces where I don't particularly feel welcome. The character of Ryan does not particularly feel welcome. And what to do? So then I continue to do research and I ask, literally ask the question, would you be open to dating someone with a disability pointedly to men? And some or one in particular says no. No, they wouldn't. And gives the reasons why. And that understanding and my recognition that it is not me, but it is them, brings me into my own sexiness and my own power and my own form of chasing after what I want. And in my own empowerment with a character of Ryan, who I play, who is me, a younger version of me, recognizes his own hypocrisy and his own forms of discrimination that aren't related to disability per se, but are equally shallow and ugly and discriminatory and complicated. And so it becomes a self-interrogation and a self-implication just as much as it was a learning experience of why is this happening to me? It then becomes, why am I doing this? Same thing to other people. I want audiences to have some fun. I want them to make a margarita and have some fun or a virgin margarita or a virgin Shirley Temple. If you don't drink, take a drink, have some fun, whatever form of drink you want to take. Enjoy yourself. It's a comedy. I want you to enjoy the comedy of it. It's a comedy with deep uh, ideas that can get serious at times, but it's joyful and it's empowered and it's energized and it's sexy. And I want people to walk away or, you know, turn the channel at home when they're finished watching it from their sofa, realizing that yes, disabled people are sexy and that we are viable and that we are entitled to the same types of relationships and romance and sex as our non-disabled counterparts and that we shouldn't continue to be excluded in the way that we have been by society. I adore William Mammoth Theater in DC and I am a theater in Los Angeles. They've both been champions of me uh, since well before we were doing this production. Uh, their staffs have been champions of me and they've supported me in my work uh, from afar and sometimes directly. Iama gave me the Unsung Voices Playwriting Commission in early 2020 and I'm so grateful for that. And Wooly has been, and Maria Goyanis at Wooly have been championing Hire You Single and waiting for the day they could put it on their stage. And it's the first time in my career as a playwright that any of my plays is being fully produced with a full design team, a full uh, costume, scenic lighting, sound design with, you know, when I say costume, I, I mean, this is the first time I'm wearing clothes that didn't have to come out of my own closet to do this play. And uh, they see the importance of disabled stories. They see the importance of gay and queer stories. They see the importance of intersectionality. They are highlighting people of color in their seasons. And they are recognizing that 
the diversity of voices on stage is going to directly impact the audiences who are watching the theater and the people who come into the theater in the first place because they finally have the opportunity to see themselves. There are two amazing regional theaters in two beautiful, wonderful cities, uh, Washington, D.C. and Los Angeles. These are two extraordinary, wonderful, non-profit theaters. My name is Ryan J. Haddad, and if you enjoyed this conversation about my play, Hi, Are You Single? Please go to woollymammoth.net and buy your tickets to Hi, Are You Single? And uh, enjoy it anytime you want during the month of February.